Good evening, I'm Omar Villafranca. We begin tonight with a deadly plane crash in Louisiana. God. The twin engine aircraft smashing into a parking lot, then bursting into flames this morning. At least five people on board were killed. The youngest victim, just 15 years old. Miraculously, one person survived. The plane went down in Lafayette, about an hour west of Baton Rouge. David Begnos starting us off from the crash site. Omar, everyone on board the plane was headed to the LSU game in Atlanta. In fact, one of the people who died in the plane crash, Carly McCord. Her father-in-law is Steve Ensminger. He is the offensive coordinator for LSU, and there are pictures of players consoling him before the game started. Uh, Carly McCord was a sports reporter in New Orleans, did work for a local TV station and the New Orleans Saints. The other passengers who died in the crash have been identified as Ian Biggs, the pilot, Vaughn Chris II, Gretchen Vincent, and her son Michael Walker Vincent. Let me tell you what eyewitnesses told us. The plane had just taken off from the Lafayette Airport, was only a mile away, and the pilot clipped that power line right there. The plane went down in the parking lot of that post office, actually hit a lady who was in her vehicle. The vehicle caught fire, seriously injuring the lady, and the fuselage continued into a field. This is eyewitness video that was recorded by Alexis West, who told us what she saw. It just skidded on the concrete at the post office, and, and then it just went by, and then all of a sudden just this big explosion. It was just like an action movie. It just like happened so fast. Miss West actually saw the sole survivor walking away from the aircraft. Listen. Somebody grabbed him from the fire and pulled him out and sat him in the ground. He was burnt from his shoulder all the way down, like his shirt, his clothing, everything was ripped. The man she's talking about is Wade Burzis. Tonight he's at a local hospital listed in critical condition. It was not raining at the time the crash happened. The National Transportation Safety Board is headed to Lafayette right now. Omar, they will take over this investigation. David, thanks.